All right, guys, we're keeping it rocking and rolling here at Fight Fort 6. We've got more exciting MMA coming your way, and this time we're at 185 pounds. We have Cody Reese fighting out of Team Rock Harrisburg, stepping up to 185 pounds. We haven't seen him since he competed at that smaller weight class versus Bryce Nix back at Fight Fort 1. Uh, he'll be competing against the very experienced Jeff Henry fighting out of Jim O. Yeah, this is going to be a really interesting fight. I know Cody Reese, being that he is 5'7", fighting at 185, I know that he is a solid wrestler. I've seen his previous fight. He likes to use uh, some one twos and then shoot in. Um, I haven't seen Jeff Henry fight, but from looking at his record, he's very experienced, and I think he's going to know what to do in any situation he's in. And Jim O is a super accomplished gym. They have, uh, obviously, Coach Chase Gamble there, who's a very accomplished local guy, and then they have guys that are making their way oh, yeah. up to the big shows as well. So training with a room full of killers like that and with a record like this for an amateur, you're bound to have a ton of experience, like you said. I do agree. So it should be an interesting matchup. Let's take it to Sam Falgu for the in-ring introductions. Third fighter tonight, your fighter coming to you out of the blue corner, standing five foot nine inches tall, weighing at 185 pounds. Looking to improve his record from two and six, fighting out of Jim O, out of Boca Raton, Florida, by way of Charlotte, North Carolina. Please oh, welcome Jeff Henry. Opponent fighting out of the red corner, standing five foot seven inches tall, also weighing in at 185 pounds. Looking to keep his undefeated record in the cage tonight. Coming in with a record of three and zero. Oh, fighting out of Team Rock, out of Harrisburg, North Carolina, from Mount Pleasant, North Carolina. Please welcome Cody. <laughs> you're good, you're good. Right number one, we got Jeff Henry versus Cody Reese. All right, Cody Reese, of course, he is uh, fighting out of Team Rock Harrisburg, one of the best gyms in the area, but Jim O, no slouch either. Wow, what a slam and a hit. Oh, his leg, you see his leg is kind of stiff? He was out. He, he was, was kind of out a little he bit was out. there, wasn't he? he? He got him in a really, really good cross and then went in for a takedown. And Slam the crap out he's of going. He's got that head and arm control from the side control, trying to pass this half guard, but it, he, his head needs to be on the outside to really put that pressure on the chin. I agree. But I just think he's trying to rain down some strikes. Yeah. He thinks he's still got him stunned. That slam, that punch before it, that, that was a oh, he was brutal. Right there, that was brutal. He should have followed up with another strike from there. Cody Reese looking to land punishment now. The Team Rock corner is asking for blows. He is really putting it on him right now. He's got good pressure. Now he's got the. He's got a. He's got Je a Jeff Henry's working this half guard with here. everything he's got left. If they, if Jeff Henry's got you know fight left in him, he's using it to control this half guard. Yes, he, he has is, a half guard. I couldn't see from right he there. He is it shrimping. Is he is shrimping in the right direction. He needs to get the headlock from the bottom. He needs to push off and get on the side of his hip. He's there he goes. shrimping there he goes. very well. There yeah. He, goes. he needs to shrimp. He really needs to shrimp, try to wall walk, use that cage, and get up back to his feet. Oh, Cody oh, Reese is free now. That was pretty brutal right there. Oh, Cody Reese passing to the pass. mount. Going into the full mount. Jeff Henry needs to hold on with everything he's got now. Jeff, we need a frame. We got to go. We need a frame. He needs to bump and bridge. We need a frame. He needs to bump and bridge. He's using the cage there to try to maneuver out goes. of this. Oh, he he gives up the away. back. He's going to flatten him out from here. He's Cody got two Reese hooks is looking in. To fly. Wow! Uh -oh. The half Nelson. Ooh. Cody Reese trains out of one of the most prestigious gyms in North Carolina. Team Rock has several pros there. UFC veteran Jordan Rinaldi. He is doing a phenomenal job today. Like he's, I said in the beginning of the fight, I am very surprised he made weight today. He has done great this entire fight. He has been in control, and now he is raining blows from the back. He's defending very well from here. Turn in, elbow. You need your elbow back. 
back in. He needs to explode, turn around, and get into the guard right here and just start blasting Cody. There we go. Oh, oh and he's oh, still on the back he's with 30 seconds left. He's in that cage. Stand up. Very good. Nice stuff from Jeff. Finally getting back to his feet after that long, hard Cody's going to shoot. Cody's going to shoot right here. Watch. Here it is. Look. There it is. He's got a leg. He's going to go for a single. Very good hips. Very yeah. good hit. Bro. Actually, great, great takedown defense. Very so good hit. Jeff Henry doing very well to stay up there, and I, I think that's going to be the end of the round. We're very. I'm close. very surprised he came back from that, Dylan. I am very surprised. Yeah, I was able. He was able to stay in that. Yes. I, I thought his his legs shot out after that slam. If you go back and watch that replay, it had that like a, that like shaking leg straightness of a of a true knockout. That was that was very. Beautiful. But his eyes were open the entire time. He seemed like he was defending and framing the he whole time. He walked the cobwebs out. He came back, came to, and you know what? He's back in his Eventually fight. Eventually, he stood up. He's and back in his fight. Right this now. second round, of course, will start will start standing. So it's going to be interesting to see, like, you know, can Jeff Henry keep this on the feet? Does he want to keep this on the feet with that punch he took in that first, you know, opening second? I of think the fight? his best bet is to keep it on the feet because I know the grappling. I think Cody's got. The I grappling. believe so too. This is a tough spot that Jeff Henry finds I couldn't himself even, in. I couldn't call if it was if he had a half guard or if he was actually trying to pass at the same time. It looked like he had his his leg pinned in there, mm. and then when he turned, he turned into a half guard. Well, offsetting the, angle we offsetting the <laughs> spine is, is what passing is all about, and he was doing that well, but Jeff Henry was also doing a good job of keeping his hips out. So Here we go, round number two. The Jim O corner is asking Cody Jeff Reese, to dig deep. They know Jeff that he Hardy. could be potentially compromised after that last round. Cody Reese, a big, strong 165er, or sorry, one, 185er. He's not using any head movement, though. He needs some head movement. Cody's going to keep pinning him down. He's just coming right down the pipe, but it's cross. Watch the cross. He's going to throw one, and then the cross is going to come right behind it. Ready for it? Watch. Ready for it? He's going to faint. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. He is moving more, though. Here it is. He's going to set it up. It's now like right one, here two. Oh, went for an overhand. He followed back with an overhand. Jeff Henry showing that he's still in this. Good job by Jeff Henry. Just touch it. No jabs. No jabs so far. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm, he's I'm, dropping his hands. He needs to keep his hands up. As a boxing coach, you know, how important is the jab in a, in a, in a confrontation yes, like there this? there it is right there. See, you establish the jab, you get respect. If you're not throwing any jabs, they're not going to respect And that's what Jeff Henry needs more than anything, is he needs the respect of Cody Reese. He needs to give Cody Reese a reason to kind of stop going Cody just a jab right forward. back, say, hey, I'm here too. Oh, yeah. inside leg kick. You should have followed up with a cross from right Very there. Very nice inside leg kick. But he may be setting up the sh level change with that. Oh. Hey, we need the movement back. That's what was pulling him out. I think Cody's going, he's going to try to go for the knockout. He's uh, loading up right here. Watch a big one, too. Oh. Oh, he, that's the same punch he rocked him with. The two three to the body, uh, following up with that the hook is how he had rocked. Oh, him good first. jab by Jeff Henry. There we go. Jab. Now, now, now he's getting cooking. the respect. Now we're cooking with Bacon. Keep Ray. throwing oh, it out. Oh. Jeff needs to keep his hands up. Yes, keep throwing that jab out there. There it is. It's doing wonders for him. As fast as his hands come out, they need to come back to his face. Big shot for Jeff Henry there. Very he, that was his Very biggest, most significant shot of the fight. I don't think he's Cody forcing liked that. the wrestling on him. I don't think Cody liked that. Cody responds to that hit, showing a little bit of respect. Gets in trouble there for grabbing the cage. There he is. Very good hips. Cody's got a lot of... Oh, he need him in a groin right there. Cody's got a lot of upper body strength. That might have been to the body. It looked like to the groin from here. He's going for the sweep. Beautiful sweep by Cody. Leaving him in half guard. Now we're back, right back in that spot where we were in the first round. But yes. as far as like his mental condition goes, Jeff Henry's got to be in a way better mood about this round so far. I agree. I think he's got the cobwebs out. He feels more confident in his hands right now. He's establishing his jab. If he can keep this standing, he will He will keep hitting Cody with those jabs. I think he needs to use the cage push off. He's oh, in a no. lot of trouble here, uh -oh. though. Hammer fist. He needs to wall walk and get on his feet right now. Push his head, Jeff. Up now. He's reaching for hands. He needs to grab Cody and pull him in. Mm. When you're it. when you're smashed up against the cage like this, do you think it's better to try to reestablish your full guard or just try to get your foot out, wall walk up, and get standing again? Well, see, from the, the top of his right leg right now, he has – oh, no, he's getting rained down. He needs to push off of him right now and use he, his momentum he, to stand up. Look how free his foot is. He should be using that foot to frame. Exactly, yes. Right there. Exactly, yes, that's what I'm saying. 
I would much, say that round was going even until Cody established that takedown. Much better round for Jeff Henry in the Jim O corner there. His jab was working wonders for him. He was earning the respect of Cody, and then Cody took that big shot and said, all right, we need to slow it down, go back to the grappling yeah. a little bit. And he did. He did it very well. The He's wrestling definitely sticking defense, to his game plan, and it is working. Of course, in the first round, he had much more time to work to pass the guard, so good on Jeff for being able to kind of keep himself defended, but he took some huge shots near the end of that round. I mean, I'm telling you, they're both establishing their jabs now. I think once Jeff threw his jab out there, Cody had no choice but to respect it, threw a jab to his body, and Jeff answered back with another jab. So we're finally seeing some jabs in this cage. <laughs> then again, these fights have been ending so quick. Yeah, <laughs> what a, what a high-intensity, high-impact card so far. We're only three fights in. Let's get back go. to it for round three of Jeff Reese, Jeff Henry, sorry, versus Cody Reese. This has been a great test for Cody Reese. He is round looking three. to remain undefeated and move to 4-0 and oh in the cage. There we go. Ooh. Went for a mean cross, loaded up on that one. I need your lead shoulder, lead shoulder. Jeff, your lead shoulder needs to be engaged. Oh, try to counter with an overhand right. Cody's nodding at him like he knows. Cody like he is knows the timing. He's looking overhand. for the timing. Ooh, you know I'm not nice really shot. seeing any There's kind of head jab. movement. If he doesn't circle, he's gonna shoot in. I knew it was coming. Oh, but he's got head he's got control. Head. Oh, oh, too dude. slippery. Too slippery. It's too late for that right now. He's gonna establish his takedown and try to take this fight from him. Play it safe. Do you blame him? Well, no, you see a lot of guys who shoot in and they go for that defense of the guillotine. But when you're this slippery, especially with the gloves on, you really oh, need oh, to... Oh, whoa, he's back. He's nice back defense. Corner. Using that jab. Jeff Henry is doing his best to survive in this third round and make some Ooh, impact. Oh, good inside leg kick. That leg kick sounded throughout this arena here. Oh, he shot. And he's going to go for a ride. And Head on the down. inside this time, keeping himself much more safer on that shot. Like I said, he's going to play it safe. And that's what you should do after you take those big shots from a guy who looks like I Jeff. I mean, him. he's a big boy. He sure is. These are two really short 185ers. Yeah. And I feel like, I feel like Reese is a guy who could easily make 170. I disagree. Really? He's a 165er, you think? Like a true 165er? Or? Uh, well, he's had problems making weight in the past. At this weight? At, at 170 and 155. Mm. I'm proof. We were scheduled to fight two shows ago. Oh, I see. But I will give it up to him right now. He is doing a fantastic job tonight. He is displaying a grappling clinic, and he is dominating this fight. Absolutely. I mean, he's had moments where he's been hurt. He's had moments where he's gotten hit. But for the most part, it's been this all night. Yes, sir. He looks very phenomenal right now. He's yeah. got good shoulder pressure. He's raining down strikes. He just got the mount. It's all downhill. And he's going to ride here. this out. But do you blame him? Or he's going to finish. Here it is. Oh, I mean, there's the, oh he's wait. under the chin. There it is. It's under the chin. Oh, he's More getting flatter. He's getting oh, flatter and flatter. It's That's in. it. That, it's locked in. Oh, he's... He, oh wait, is he, in. oh he's fighting he's so well, he's, he's asleep. Out. He's out. Uh, he never went out. He never went out, but oh, I, didn't th I, thought he I went don't out. know how I feel about that call. But, Ooh. you know, rule number one, one thing about technical, one thing about a technical stoppage by submission is that the first rule of MMA is protect yourself at all times. And when he was up here fighting the hand, I agree, 100% he was defending yeah. himself, but when the hand falls and starts I thought moving, he went to sleep when he closed his eyes and he kind of looked like he was going limp. I don't know if that was the right call or not, but it was certainly cruising towards a decision victory for Cody Reese. So uh, Jeff Henry deserved more of a chance to fight out of that, but I'm not aware of any rear naked choke defense where your arms go right to your sides and away from the hands that are choking you, personally. However, he never, I never saw him tap myself, and I never thought he was out. You know what? At the end of the day, you shouldn't have been in that position. It would have never happened. Exactly. And defend, protect yourself at all times. That's the first rule. Your winner, G2 referee, stoppage by tap out in the third round. Fighting out of the red corner, Cody Reed. 
All right, that is a great victory there for Cody Rees. Comes by kind of a controversial method, but I mean, I think he was well on his way to a victory there. He did what he had to do. He went in there, he put on a show, he displayed some great takedowns, some great striking. And he, he moves to 4-0, and undefeated in the cage. We've got an interview with him coming up with Kristen Cubbage. You guys keep it locked right here at Fight For It. This here soil was hand-tilled by my granddaddy for decades with the perfect blend of nutrients for growing DOs. Try four pit! Come on! Cody, on your, on your win, tell me about the fight. Well, I mean, I want to give a shout-out to my, my fiancé and my baby girl and my teammates. But then we couldn't do it. Uh, I did take a year and a half off. I wanted to be a daddy, so oh, yeah, my little girl. Yeah, I can't miss that stuff. I'm still young, 21, so right. I wanted to do that and uh, give me a lot of training, learn the game because I've only been in it two years. So I got a lot of technique, learned on it, worked on my cardio, and it was a wrap. My team helped me out, and my little girl, my fiance. So. Yeah, I could hear her in the stands. Very passionate. Yeah, oh, she. I love that support. Yeah, she was. She was with me since day one, so when she was eight months pregnant, she was out the front. Like, she didn't care, so, Aww. yeah. So, I wish my little girl could come, but it's just too late. Yeah. Yeah, she's little, so I miss her a lot. That's the biggest thing my motivation is, is. It's either he's walking out or I'm walking out, but someone's crawling out, and I got to walk up. I got to wake up the next day for my little girl, so. That's right. That's my biggest thing. I want to give her the best future for her life. I, I didn't get, you know, so. Yes. That's my biggest thing. What's next for you? I get in the next fight. Uh, trying to go pro. Uh, you know, I'm always the six boys, so I'm supporting them with my mom because my dad passed away. So them and my little girl. So yeah, so I work all the time. I train all the time. I'm trying to go pro and make it where Jordan Ronaldo is, one of our teammates at the UFC. So Daniel White can sign that paycheck. That's the biggest thing. <laughs> trying to get that money. Awesome. See my little girl private school. Yes, we'd love to see that for you. Yeah, definitely. So that's my next move. Get get better in the gym and get in the next fight but lower weight class you know so i had guys drop out so that was the biggest thing and then i had to jump up two weight classes i fight at 55 so they big ass dude yeah yeah so he was hitting and i was like oh shit i gotta get i gotta get down weight class well you looked really good <laughs> thank you thank there, you so. thank you congratulations thank you and i know your daughter will be proud when she sees this i know i know i was hoping i'd get busted up but oh well oh. <laughs> Well, go hug your fiance. Thank you so much. Thank you.